As the drivers fuel up for this weekend's races, behind the scenes Australian indie bosses were pushing for a five-year fixed-term contract. I'm extremely confident that there'll be a race next year. But the Americans signalled they're prepared to play hardball. We're a US base series that also races internationally. Are we looking for lots of international expansion? No, we're not. While they wouldn't be drawn on dates, US officials want Indy moved to September. But an earlier date would mean a clash with AFL and NRL grand finals here in Australia. Uh, we have some, uh, uh, some issues with, uh, with particular times when I don't believe we could hold a race. We compete with things domestically, like the National Football League. So for us to go real late in the year and not be on the local sports calendar and or competing with the NFL in our market, that's not good for us. Indy bosses are racing to secure the future of the events. Over the next few days, they'll be whining and dining the American racing bigwigs, showing them the very best the Gold Coast has to offer. The Australian drivers were more worried about the freebies. For me, it's, you know, it's getting a cheap ticket back home to see my family, so that's pretty good. Learning a few lessons along the way. <laughs> International drivers just happy to see Australia. Nice people, nice food, nice weather, nice, nice beaches, uh, nice mentality. Fresh and famous faces are breathing new life into the competition. And I don't think just because I'm the youngest I'm kind of singled out. I think everybody goes out there to put on a good show every weekend and, and to give it their all. Um, this is uh, the end of my 17th season racing so uh, I don't really know any different. Fans are hoping for a home victory but competition is fierce. There's absolutely no secrets, you know, for the Australian team. We're here to beat them. The roar of practice laps will start on the Gold Coast at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Ashlyn McGee, QUT News.